Hey folks, how you doing? Uh, video I'm going to do tonight is on upsetting. Uh, a very basic thing you need to learn how to do in blacksmithing. And uh, simply it's, uh, simply put, it's causing the metal to swell up in one way or another. So, which is by compression. Um, so you can squeeze a bar and create like a, a thicker spot in the middle or uh, fatten up the end of a bar so you can do something else with it. Uh, in this video I'm just going to show you basic upsetting on a few different materials, different, way, different ways to deal with uh, upsetting very small bars and upsetting very large bars. And uh, again there's lots of different techniques out there. This is mine. I ain't saying it's better than yours, it's just it's the way I do things. And uh, uh, Totally open to seeing uh, video responses on how you accomplish your upsetting work and uh, if you have any novel ways of doing it. And uh, I'll get into uh, uh, one thing I've noticed about upsetting using a hammer, like upsetting on the anvil using a hammer, is that the hammer is usually a lot lighter of a hammer than you would normally use. For example, this very small ball peen hammer is the one I would usually use to upset the end of a 3 8 bar or smaller. Not that I would upset anything smaller than that, but upsetting a 3 8 bar, I use this very small hammer and I like to hit it very fast. And uh, it seems like a situation where velocity is better than mass in, in as far as the hammer is concerned. Such as for upsetting uh, thicker bars, say a three-quarter bar or something, even up to a one-inch bar on the anvil, which not often done anyway, but if I was doing it on the anvil, I'd use this sort of medium-sized uh, one-and-a-half pounder um, for that sort of work, even though you would think it'd be something much larger like my main hammer there or, or uh, a small maul. Um, anyway, let's show you how it's done. There's a problem right there. You can see how I've fattened it up pretty good. Pretty well doubled the mass towards the end there. And then that's what you got to do. If you, if you want this to spread out without bending this, you have to cool this part of it off. Up, you know, as close as you can so that you can leave a reasonable heat there to work with. So now this is what I would use that for. So now this could become an animal's head, snake or a bird, 
um, you know, anything from that point. Or just a finial. There you go. Uh, that's the basics of upsetting a large bar. And uh, where you take this after this is up to you. You could turn that into a ball finial or a spear point with a little bit of meat to it, you know. There's a million different things you can do after this. And uh, may not look it to the camera, but uh, I've actually doubled the mass here. This is one inch and this is almost an inch and a half. So. That's twice the mass.
There you go, that's what upsetting is. All it is is making a bar fatter by smacking it on the ground on a piece of plate. Uh, if you're gonna do that, try and get something with some mass, you know, piece of railroad track or I-beam, something like that, something real dense. Uh, not railroad track, I wouldn't recommend that, but a big flat plate's the best thing, really. Like a big thick piece of plate that you find kicking around, might weigh 40, 50, 100 pounds or more. Use that. And, uh, you know, once you've upset a bar like that, you can do so many different things with it. You can put a, a heavier point or just create like a, you know, a beefier end on something. You, you know, it could be a ball shape or a, uh, you know, some sort of a geodesic shape. Um, and uh, it's just, it's useful for a lot of different things. Uh, it's not something you use every day, but uh, it is some, no, something you need to know. You know, if you're going to add some mass to something, then that's what you got to do. You got to upset it. That also applies to uh, pressing it. So if you wanted to make a four inch long, four inch wide piece of bar into something two inches thick and eight inches around, just heat it in the forge, put it in a 300 ton press and squash it out to a, a pancake. That's, that's upsetting as well. Uh, anyway, that's it for now. We'll talk to you later. Bye.